Okay, boys. So today we're going to make a simple timer here. I'll count down using uh, JavaScript and HTML. For instance, when we put a number of seconds here and we give a start, so the seconds will just get decremented as you can see there on the screen on the browser. So whenever we input this number of seconds on the input field and hit the start button, the number of seconds starts to watch to get decremented. For instance, when we put, uh, for instance, when we put maybe 180 down there, okay, yeah, let's put maybe, let's put 180, uh -huh. 180 is for 3 seconds, 3 minutes, as you can see, when I get a start, things start to decrement, so we're going to work with you together. Okay, boys. Let's get moving. It's another day. Today I'm going to show you how are we going to make a simple countdown or you can say a simple counter or simple timer. Let's give a move now. Okay, let's go to the... Let's open this Visual Studio code first. Uh -huh. Opening it as you can see here it is. We are going to save our, our things on this folder down here on the desktop so let's just open folder on the desktop let's go to the desktop where it's called demo this one demo yeah this one here they say select the folder uh-huh yeah here is the folder Let's first create a new file. Let's save this. Mm -hmm. Let's save demo. Demo 2. Yeah. That was HTML. Yes. Yeah. You demo this one. Here it is, okay. So let's give a start. Yeah, it are things down here. Mm -hmm. On the body. Let's make let's make a uh, let's make table. Let's make table. Mm -hmm. Make the bone, let's go here, embed this one on top here. Let's say the room. Mm -hmm. uh, here, let's say the uh, data. Mm -hmm. So let's open this as a live server. Open with the live server. with the left seven yes here the left seven let's find it okay so we will be putting things here it will be get popped down here you can see it is directly one two three let's copy this let's paste here uh, okay Okay, here let's say, uh -huh, let's say, uh, let me zero zero. Down here let's say this one. Down here let's say zero zero. Let's give this table data an ID of main. Uh -huh, and this one, ID of sec. Okay. Now let's get a font. Let's add a font down there. Okay. Font. So let's give it a size of. Uh, let's give a size of maybe ten. Yes, I thought yeah, it's good. Let's give it a central. 
so this pool should be centered so let's give it a center uh -huh. x I think we are going to go right yeah so let's give a little button here so when i put the button uh, the counter will start up and let me give an input feed here when i re enter the number of maybe um, seconds to learn i put on the input box and hit the start it will learn the inputted second so on the very beginning down here okay so let's say here input inputs let's give it an id nothing empty yep let's go uh -huh. after the table let's give a button of an id btn uh -huh. let's give a name of what maybe start huh? yeah we are good to go my fellow so whenever i put here maybe 12 seconds i help start i want to call to this second to be counted down here okay let's go to script so we can make that thing happen mm. okay, okay 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 let's say that let's give a btn dot on click so whatever will be clicking this button between dot on click should provide a function should provide a function yes so this is a function i want to give an a certain id here uh, let's say um, set interval yeah comes down we have to set interval mm -hmm sent interval here you have to give a function uh, let's give a function a function okay let's say that one mm -hmm. let's put this one uh -huh. this function should learn after each one second or oh, this thousand milliseconds so on this function we say that okay we should give a, a variable here let's say let's say empty dot value you want to get this one don't draw copy let's say uh, empty dot value yeah let's give it it um, eh? no okay let's say variable maybe tm goes to empty dot value so this variable specify the uh, the value of the input it's variable tm okay so here inside down here let's say maybe let's tm we have to decrement this tm let's scroll the code let's say sec sec dot inner html sec dot inner html sec dot inner html uh -huh. let's say sec dot inner html equals to that variable tm let's scroll sec dot inner html equals to tm is it yeah maybe if you say 12 state account as you can see eh? yeah. so if i put here maybe 12 these are seconds start it started to decrement the values eh? you can see eh? okay but first here i have to add a start and a stop button mm -hmm. So sec dot in HTML goes to that one, and uh, maybe let's say here, let's copy this one. Let's copy this. 
let's say mini dot in html goes to tm over 60 since we want to learn the number of what since a uh, one minute specifies 60 seconds yeah i think you know me and uh, this value here you can see here whenever i put maybe 120 seconds uh, 120 will start mm. and you see these decimals these decimals are not good in our things so let's say this one here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we give a pass int should pass int yes and also mm, sec should we give this thing of six should we start at 60 so let me put 120 here and hit the start it is start from 59 and this does not give those decimals we have we have percent it so as you can see the things is very good and very clear mm? it is very good and very clear 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 so okay as you can see down there whenever i put mail for instance 120 seconds and we hit uh, start here it will start decrement the values okay but after clicking this start button let's make the button disappear so from here let's make uh, let's not this one uh -huh. So here let's say maybe let's give an idea of this button and the button is a bit n so let's bit n dot in html uh, it's a bit n dot style dot display uh -huh. goes to let's say none yeah mm -hmm. so let's give a shot so let we hit the start button hoping that uh, this button should get disappeared start yeah that's good down there okay and also